ladies and gentlemen, you may not remember me. I am Star-Lord Nuthor-7, your planetary defense commander. And you may be like, what is the planetary defense commander, man? And if you watch Game of Thrones, it's a lot like Hand of the King, except in our world there is no king. There are only warring corporations, gangs, and families. So, I do the best I can to bring the public good information. And I have great news. I say that tongue-in-cheek. We have now dropped below 300 rivers flooding, and we are at 272. But as you can see, we got a big chunk down here by Texas. And Texas, you guys are now under the gun over the next seven days for the area most susceptible to rain. And that is for, like, the DFW and East areas, plus a swath or I guess a bit of a wound over Louisiana. And unless you are in this hot and dry area, everybody's been way too wet. How weird are things? Hey, look, a rectangular sunset. Yo, don't freak out, man. It's probably just the camera. Everyone knows the sun is round. Asterisk. I'm pretty sure there are people out there who think the sun is flat. But when Le Solete cans... Photograph the sunset from Bendesisai, Denmark, on April 19th. The shape was definitely rectangular. That's what she said. And we got solar wind incoming. A southern hole in the sun's atmosphere is spewing a stream of solar wind towards Earth. Minor geomagnetic storms are possible when the gaseous plasmatic material arrives April 24th and 25th. If I mentioned that I missed you, and have I mentioned that you are awesome and incredible and that I want to thank all the good people out there for all their good works and all the times that they've been good, kind, and cool to other people because we are out there. We do exist. We just don't ever get any press in the media. All right. We are still on <clears throat> Asteroid Fight Club high alert for all of April and... All of May, pretty much, I got weird volcano feelings about next month. Um, and the West Coast, the Pacific West Coast is on volcano and earthquake alert through 2020. Um, I found some very interesting information on a 40-year volcano cycle, which I'll be covering in an upcoming video. You might be like, where are you, where were you at, Thor? Hey, I couple, took a couple days off for Resurrection Day weekend, which you guys call Easter. And um, and I had a lot of problems with my computer, which, you know, it's no surprise. But I'm back, I think, pretty sure. And you guys are fantastic, and I missed you. And so this is the next 48 hours of the storms, as you can see. Texas, overnight, we are on severe weather watch. To the middle and south um we could get some heavy rains in some spots it could get pretty windy i would guess there is a chance of tornadoes so please stay aware if you're in any of these red spots and we have the two fronts they're going to hook up and then move east as they usually do um and so we are in our wave after wave after wave after wave pattern so we will probably see this line blow up a little and when i mean blow up i don't mean like you know, die hard and John McClane. I just mean get more intense and form a line of storms. All right. I'm super rusty. Can you tell? I'll get back into the groove. Oh, yeah. I'm going to LeakCon in Denver. I think it's the 17th and 18th. Um, it is sold out, but you can purchase it on the live stream. Uh, part of it will be being live streamed and I will leave the link to that in the information box. All right. So I have predicted as of many people because we're team people. All right. It's going to be a hot freaking volcano summer, man. And um, in Vietnam, it just recorded the highest temperature ever, 110 degrees. It's normally 80 degrees. So anytime you get a 30 degree standard deviation... That's kind of scary shit, man. 
Um, let's see. Dakota Smith. Uh, the, we had a vortex leaving the East Coast last night. That was interesting. The Sentinel-2 from the European Space Agency. The European Space Agency takes great photos of volcanoes. We got a lot of volcanoes that are popping off right now. Yeah, I, I broke my... I, I mean, when I saw the first Star Wars, which is like, you know, the one that came out fifth or what, a third, fourth, I was like, I will never get excited about a movie again more than 24 hours out but then i broke that with avengers endgame when i started texting my friend apollo five in the morning i was like dude avengers dude and he just had a baby him and his wife and then i realized oh it's not thursday it's tuesday man my, my schedule's been all screwed up and i don't know if you watch game of thrones it's the best show ever in the history of mankind all right we had a visualization of the surface winds around antarctica it's pretty neat Um, yeah, things are kicking. Oh, yeah, so what is, oh, yeah, let me get to this point first. Now, remember, on my my planetary orbital angular momentum theory is looking more and more and more and more like it's correct. Uh, remember, like, Earth is this size, and then Jupiter is this size. And so when you have Jupiter and Saturn on the same side, it really screws shit up, man. So I found out there was a 7.9 earthquake in California uh, in 1857 and guess what all the gas giants were on the same side see look Saturn Jupiter you're in a Neptune and then Lord keep me humble and patient but so the June 28 19 this blew my mind I don't know why I didn't look it up before the June 28 1992 7.2 California earthquake and I'm pretty sure the one that happened during the World Series all the gas giants were on the same freaking side, man. I mean, like, every time I look up major American, North American earthquakes, all the gas giants are on the same side pretty much every single time. You know, it's like I've stumbled across one of the most important theories in um, modern history, and it's still not getting any traction anywhere outside of me, which is... A little distressing because I definitely think we're going to see possible large volcano, large earthquake activity, and large and volcano eruptions in the Pacific Northwest, and, and, and this year and next year. Um, and then I found another theory that backs that up. So I was still working and doing research, y'all. Where to go? So here's another picture. This is the volcano in Kamchatka. And that's all, all, that's all ongoing lava flows. Let's see what I got here. I'm looking for some, probably a couple of days ago. Bear with me if you can. We've been getting some larger upticks in earthquakes. The last few days. Actually, I should probably just go to my notifications. You know, like I said, we got, we got floods going on in multiple areas. The Calabuco volcano has been just freaking kicking like crazy and you know my planetary orbital angular momentum goes in with grand solar minimum as well um and so i found this article and i'm doing a video on it but you can look it up if you want to it's talking about 40 year volcano cycles and that this guy made this guy made this thing in 2014 and um he did it for investors so you gotta know the info's good because he's talking about how there are it seems like we there are 40-year volcano cycles and that they're mostly based on a 320 year i might sneeze forgive me if i do and so 2020 will mark the exact 320 year period and so he calls in 2014 he calls for uh an uptick in volcano and earthquakes on the Pacific Northwest right around 2019 and 2020. And so I will cover this in a whole nother video. But I wanted to say, yeah, dude, I'm, I've stumbled onto quite a, quite a lot of stuff. Montagung erupted. So, you know, it's, and we got hurricane season coming up. 
And I got a real weird feeling about May. Now, based on... Because there's this thing where... I know, a couple months ago, it snowed like 36 inches in Flagstaff, Arizona. And Dominic Davis, Dominica Davis from the Weather Channel said, you know when the last time it snowed 36 inches in Flagstaff, Arizona? 1915. What else happened in 1915? Yeah, all the gas giants were on the same side. But that was the last time California had a major volcano eruption. And so the volcano erupted in May 22nd. And so this is why... I believe we're watching this year on the Pacific Northwest for a possible volcanic activity either this year or next year. And um, there's some weird signs that have me believe that we could see a big earthquake, not necessarily on the Pacific West Coast, but just around the world on May 11th. I might or might not have gotten slipped some good information. I guess we'll find out. But either way, I think the majority of us who even talk about earthquakes at all have a weird feeling about this May. So, I will try and, but yeah, from the looks of this, the next two weeks, yeah, this seems like a very, like the three volcanoes here have been going off like nonstop. Asterisk. So things are crazy. And uh, let's see, this is yesterday. Spain has been getting major floods. You've had Iran is getting major floods. Um, Africa's been getting major floods. Mozambique, um, they've had over a thousand people die in floods. And let's see, Ian Livingston, hashtag Jet Weirding team. Did it feel blizzardy, like a blizzardy winter? Well, it was because eight blizzards slammed parts of North Dakota and Minnesota. I think they're just now still dealing with, um, floods and stuff. And as always, Cranky Weather Guy, he is the best when it comes to almost daily blog breakdowns of your weather now in the future uh so i'll leave his blog linked as well was i looking for something i'm pretty sure it was oh, yeah we like i said we've been having some pretty big earthquakes sixes and above that have torn some shit up knocked some buildings over and so here's today is tuesday and so here's the point where people could get flooding and then i i forget who sent me this but you know, people on Twitter steal stuff, but it wasn't this guy originally, I don't think, but 2016, Hurricane Matthew, which by the way, that was where I started my really amazing hurricane run. I got Hurricane Matthew right ahead of time. Hurricane Maria, same thing. Hurricane Michael. And these are all around the Eris alignment, by the way. So we, like I talked about how I'm pretty sure we are going to get a landfalling hurricane in the middle of September and in the middle of October. And uh, I have time to upgrade my locations but right now it'd either be west south texas and florida or florida and the east coast although there is a chance the east coast could, one could go out to sea but it's definitely something and here is video from yesterday of a storm emptying all the water out of the top of the hotel pool but still i want to one day swim in a gravity pool Okay, here's the Mozambique, Africa, where I think it wiped out 95% of the city. I remember when governments say 1,000 people dead, that probably means anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000 people. And like I said, Iran, I mean, you got Canada's having major floods, infrastructure collapses, Spain. And uh, this was just yesterday. We had 310 rivers flooding, and we have our next storm moving in. And I had a question for our president, Trump. Just asking a question, man. If you knew that in the next, let's say, five years, we were going to get a volcano eruption on the west coast of the United States, and the Mississippi River was going to widen across several states or this area over the next five years, what would be your priorities as president? It's an honest question, man. So it's something to think about. Yeah, we got crazy days ahead, people. And um, I'm just doing what I can to bring you guys excellent information. I'm not trying to fearmonger anything. 
and Lord knows I've been accurate enough that if you, you think I'm a fear monger at this point, you're probably a dipshit. And I'm sorry for calling you a dipshit, dipshit, but, you know, man, trust me. I've been hitting the bullseye a lot, and I'm not trying to pat myself in the back because I don't have the mobility and flexibility to do that, nor health insurance, so I wouldn't take that chance. Okay, I missed you guys a lot, and um, I love you. Hope you guys had a wonderful Resurrection Day. Remember, good people are out there, and sometimes the good guys win. So I have not given up hope yet. And um, I'm here with you still, so I want everybody to be cool, stay cool. I've got like two edited videos, hopefully, that will be coming out in the next. I'll have that volcano video tomorrow, hopefully. And then I made a video for Resurrection Day. Oh, it's kind of weird, and I'm still going to release it. I've been tinkering with it on and off when my computer works properly. Okay, stay cool. I love y'all. Peace out. God bless everyone.